Octonauts, our mission here is complete. Dashi, prepare to launch the octopod. I'm on it, Captain. Captain, there's something wrong with the ship. It's... <laughs> Tweak, any idea what just happened? I've already found the problem, Cap. It's the bubble converter. It's broken, and the octopod can't take off without it. Can't you just make a new one, matey? I could, but that would take days. Or months. Months? It looks like we don't have days or months. We've got to do something now. There is one other bubble converter. Ah, you mean... Uh-huh. Uh, of course. The old octopod. The old octopod? What old octopod? Uh, did we not mention this is actually the second octopod? Uh, no, matey. I think I'd remember another octopod. Oh, well, then this here's the new octopod. But way back when, before we were even the octonauts, there was an old octopod. It never did work quite right. Well, we crashed it. But when we came back to fix it... It had become an artificial reef, home to hundreds of creatures. So we had to leave it where it was. The old octopod should still have a working bubble converter. Then there's no time to lose. To the GUP A. Dashi, keep an eye on the ship. We'll be back as soon as we can. Aye, aye, Captain. This way! Now, back this way! Chopper, chopper! There it is. The old octopod. Shiver me whiskers. I much prefer the new one. Activate helmets. We're going in. The quickest way in is through the manual steering pod. But how are we going to get in, Captain? Ah, I know a little trick. <laughs> wow! It's just like home. Only not. Only very not. Only very, very not? This is not how I left these chairs. Tweak, we don't have much time. Uh, right. The bubble converter should be in here. It'll just take a minute, Cap. A fast! What was that? <gasps> I didn't see anything. But there was something. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. Or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. <laughs> Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, Kip, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations. Uh, Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. Whoa! Um, is everything all right there? Um, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. Oh. Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange. Whatever you are. I'm in the game pod, mateys. Just a volleyball. Once. I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. 
One behind. What on earth? Captain, I saw some attack me with volleyball. Came out of nowhere. Uh, Captain, what are you doing on the floor? Uh, oh, right. Uh, something just grabbed me. We'd better get to the bottom of this. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's got tentacles. And it can throw eight things at once. And it squirts ink. And it's orange. Hmm. Oh, sounds like a giant Pacific octopus. I agree. My Pacific cousins are the largest species of octopus. And they often make their homes in old abandoned ships. <laughs> well, how about that? I modeled the octopod after the giant Pacific octopus. And now there's one living in it. Yeah, but why did it steal our converter? It was probably just curious. Giant Pacific octopuses are very clever, and they always investigate new things. Hmm. Then maybe we can give it something new to be curious about. This ought to get its attention. And then, when it comes to investigate, we'll get our converter. Everybody, into position. Lights out. Look! It's huge. Shh. Just a little closer. Now! <laughs> Stay alert, everyone. It might make a swim for it. Yeah. It escaped! And it got the flashlight out of the jar. But where did it go? Huh? Hello. Goodbye. Follow that octopus. Easy now. We're not going to hurt you. Oof. Search everywhere. Ah, no sign of the eight-armed scallywag. She has to be in here somewhere. Ink. Ah, oh, hello there. Stay back. Don't make me ink you again, you invaders. Invaders? Us? Yes, this is my home. I'd arranged everything just the way I like it, and I don't appreciate you barging in without permission and moving everything around. We're sorry. We only came for our bubble converter. This thing? Well, it was in my home, so it's mine. Hmm. You are absolutely right. We didn't realize you were living here. Perhaps you'd be willing to trade it for something new. Huh? Mm. 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 You have yourself a deal, young fellow. How about we shake on that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the new bubble converted did the trick. How's it feel, Cap? The octopod's running perfectly, Tweak. I'm just glad we're not running anymore. Look, we're passing the old octopod now. Hmm? Looks like you left the light on. <laughs> Everybody wave. Goodbye. Bye. 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 See ya. <laughs> no!
Sultan's hidden straight for us, Cap. Octonauts, hold on. Something is about to hit us. Dashy. Peso. Shellington. Inkling. Vegemals. Brace yourselves. What? Cap, you hear that? It's coming from outside the octopod. Huh. The screen is blank. We've lost the radar. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Captain, what's going on? The radar isn't working. Tweak, Quasi, let's go outside and work out what's happened. The dish must be broken. I'll have it fixed faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Peso, open the octo hatch. Yes, right away, Captain. The radar dish isn't broken. It's gone. The thief must have stolen it. We have to get it back. I reckon that scurvy thief is around here somewhere. I'll find him with me spyglass. Ah, seaweed! <sighs> yeah. oh, now I can't see a thing. Here, use my binoculars to look for anything unusual. Aye, right, Captain. Tweak, come with me. We'll search the other side of the octopod. Now, where's that thief? <laughs> Spyglass! Captain, the thief strikes again! <sighs> I've had that spyglass since my pirate days. The thief couldn't have gone far. Aha! A trail! <laughs> ah, we've lost the trail. Whoa! I bet there's a lot of places in this reef for a thief to hide. I'll look under every rock until I get my spyglass back. Hold on, Quasi. This thief is sneaky, so we'll have to be sneakier. If he sees us coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So, we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. We're going after the thief, but we don't want him to be able to see the Gup A. How can you help us, Tweak? I've got just the thing. Camouflage. Push that button, Captain. Oh! Camouflage helps the Gup look like the rest of the ocean, so no one will see you. We'll look just like the rocks and the seaweed. And if you need even more camouflage, press that. Understood. Thanks, Tweak. Quasi and Peso, Prepare to launch. Captain, I'm fully prepared for any emergency. Tweak, open the octahash. Right away, Cap. The trail disappears under that rock. Let's keep a lookout. The thief has to be around here somewhere. That plant just took a walk. Over there. Look! Follow that plant! He's got my spyglass! Up ahead! Where did it go? Octonauts, let's investigate. Quasi, you go this way. Peso, you check that way. An injured anemone. Oh, 
Oh, let me bandage that for you. Good as new. Oh no, my bandages. What is it, Peso? Those are special bandages for wrapping tentacles. I've got to get them back. The thief strikes again. But we're not giving up. The spyglass, the radar dish, and the bandages. Look! I don't see anything. On the rock. <gasps> but I know I saw them. How could they just disappear? Captain, there's only one explanation. This place is haunted by a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like Growl! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, he vanishes. Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. Now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. Steal that seaweed moustache from under our noses. Ha! We found the thief! Here he is under all our equipment! Ow, uh, ow. <laughs> Easy there, fella. Just return the things that you stole from us. That's all we ask. I didn't steal anything. Then how do you explain the fact that our equipment is attached to your shell? I'm a decorator crab. A decorator crab? Yeah, a decorator crab. I attach things to my shell for camouflage so nobody can see me. Especially sharks. That radar dish belongs on the octopod. The spyglass belongs to Quasi. And the bandages are pesos. I didn't know they belonged to anybody. I, I was just trying to blend in, that's all. I put them on, I take them off. It's no problem. Thank you. Uh, guess I have to find some new things to cover my shell. You know, there is something we can let you keep. This seaweed moustache will help you stay camouflaged. <laughs> Thanks. A gift to you from the Octonauts. Yeah! <laughs> The radar's fixed. Good work, Twig. Thanks, Cap. I made one other little change out here. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's nothing more relaxing than a moonlight drive. Flying fish. So, you want a race, do ye? You're on. A buzz, me fizzies. Wow! I've been hit. It's a snake attack. Ah, show yourself, you scurvy coconut. Ah. Uh. <gasps> 
blubbering blowfish. It's the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. Something's inside. <gasps> Very treasure. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Hmm. I think this calls for my newest invention, the Octoclaw. This little beauty will crush or crack almost anything, including coconuts. Yeah! Now let's try it on Calico Jack's coconut. Still trying to open this coconut, eh? I don't get it. My Octoclaw should have done the job. I modeled it after the greatest coconut cracker in the animal world, the coconut crab. Maybe that's who we need to help, um, crack this mystery. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Ow! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to find a way to open up Calico Jack's coconut. We'll need the help of the greatest coconut cracker of all. Shellington? Ah, yes, the coconut crab, the largest land crab in the world. It has powerful pincer claws used for cracking open coconuts. Where can we find these crabs? You'll need to look on an island. Coconut crabs live strictly on land. This shows all the islands in the area, Captain. Hmm. Zoom in on that one, Dashy. It's crawling with coconut trees. Exactly. And where there are coconut trees, there are usually... Coconut crabs! Tweak, ready the Gup X. Island straight ahead, Cap. Coconut crabs only come out at night. We don't want to scare them off. Tweak, activate stealth mode. You got it, Cap. Hmm, not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There. No, over there. <gasps> the coconut, it's gone. Tweak, spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi, you head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. But there's my wife, Claudette. But her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years. So, it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut. 
which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Crack! Keep pulling! Tweak, deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. Coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim! Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. Peso, activate Octo Ski. Tweak, activate Glider. Operation Coconut Drop begins now. It's Clyde! Ready, Coconut. Crack! And drop! <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> gotcha! There's Clem! There's a lot of wind! This could get bumpy! Coconut ready! Crack! I don't see Clem. I've got to get a closer look. There he is. Damn drop! Nice catch, matey. And I might add... Ouch! Wazzy! Grab in trouble! Up ahead! Thanks, fishies! That's Clarence. Thank you, Octonauts. Good work, everyone. Mission complete. Ah, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut. You're right. Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, it just might crack open. Okay, drop! Uh, ah! in the coconut. This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! Whoa. So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, thanks for rescuing me, mateys. These here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. Huh, Training coconuts! Let's get cracking! Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson Quasi, tell him for me. Yeah! Ah, this spyglass is no good. It's supposed to help me see things far away, but I can't make out what that big shape is. Besides, we're so far down, it's dark as night. Good thing the octoscope can see in the dark. Can you give us a better picture of what's out there, Dashy? Aye, aye, Captain. It looks like a ship of some kind. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Unless I miss me guess, that's the pirate shipwreck of Calico Jack himself! Calico, Calico who? Calico Jack. He was me grandfather. 
and the finest cat pirate ever to roam the seven seas. And he had a golden spyglass. The spyglass was passed down from one member of me family to the next. But before it could pass down to me, Calico Jack's ship sank in the North Atlantic Ocean. And that golden spyglass sank with it. The North Atlantic Ocean? But that's where we are now. Quasi, do you really think that could be the pirate ship of Calico Jack out there? Hi, Captain. Then let's go and investigate. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a mysterious ship out there that may have belonged to Quasi's grandfather, Calico Jack. Our mission is to explore the shipwreck and help Quasi find his grandfather's spyglass. Peso, Dashi, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Can't you go any faster, Captain? Quasi, that shipwreck has been down there for years. It'll still be there in a few minutes. Oh. Look, everyone. There it is. Well, Quasi, do you think it's Calico Jack's ship? That's got to be a carving of your grandfather. He even looks like you. Let's go inside. Yeah! Huh? Hold on, Quasi. Huh? This may have been a pirate ship once, but now she's home to hundreds of plants and animals. So, Octonauts, be extra careful. We don't want to disturb anything. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Have you got that, Quasi? Quasi? Uh, I wonder where that spyglass might be. Yow! Spiky sea urchins! Yow! from that spyglass. Before I could grab it, I got slimed! Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dag Nabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys, let him have it. <gasps> Give me two seconds, and I promise I'll be. Then we ran in and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. 
Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slimy old want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. Um. My grandfather's spyglass. At last. Oh, great. You again. So you're back for some more, eh? Quasi! Ah, I finally had me grandfather's spyglass, till this wooden beam fell down and trapped me. Ah, I can't move it without bringing the whole ship down. Didn't we warn you to clear out of here and never come back? Ah, you caught me, slime eel. I suppose you're going to slime me again. Well, go ahead. Mm. That's it. You're right. Ahem. Go ahead. Slime him. I dare you. What? But... My pleasure. You call that sliming someone? Huh. You missed him. Yeah, well, I can't see, remember? Captain, what are you... The slime will make Quasi's tail slippery, and we can pull him loose. Try a little lower next time. Peso, what are you saying? We... Just a little lower. You asked for it. Great work, Slime Eel. Let's pull. I'm free. Thanks, matey. And thanks, Slime Eel. At last, me grandfather's spyglass. And it's all mine. There's all kinds of plants and animals in there. Looks like this spyglass has become home to many different creatures, Quasi. <sighs> Aye. Back for more, eh? Wait, just a minute. This spyglass has always been passed down in my family. But now, I'm passing it on to you and these little creatures. Oh, that's mighty kind of you, I'm sure. Take good care of it. Yeah, we will. And, um, <laughs> sorry about the slime. Now, go on, get out of here. And after all this time, I finally had the spyglass in my own paws. But when I saw those creatures, I had to put it back. Meow. Quasi, you did the right thing. And you can tell everyone you were the one to discover Calico Jack's shipwreck. Besides, it's not like you didn't get any souvenirs at all. Huh? Here. <laughs> Why aren't they? Fish or any other creatures swimming around here? Aye, where'd all the little fishies go? Ooh. This is creepy. It's like a ghost town down here. Blech. You mean a gross town? Shellington, what is this green mess? It's algae. Algae is a common plant in the ocean, but there's a lot more here than usual. <laughs> Yeah.
Yep. All this slimy algae keeps clogging up the octopod faster than I can clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Dashy. Didn't see you there behind me. <sighs> <gasps> A boss, mateys. Over here. What is it, Quasi? Look. <gasps> <laughs> Professor Inkling, do you see how slowly those lobsters and crabs are moving? I do, Shellington. Very strange. Do you think it has anything to do with all this algae? Hmm, <laughs> not sure. Though this does seem familiar. <laughs> These creatures are poorly. We have to help them, Captain. Agreed. But first, we have to work out what's wrong. <laughs> oh, poor little fellow. What do you make of this, Quasi? Never seen anything quite like it. Psst, come on, this way. All this algae seems to be making them ill. Professor, have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? <gasps> Hold on, Shellington, I can check my books. To the library! Look at this! There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! Whoa! Ah! Oh no! The octopod is taking off without us! We've got to catch the octopod! Octonauts, to the gups! Octonauts, we've got to get back on board the octopod. Yuck! More algae. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to Octopod, Gup A to Octopod, come in Octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Gup A to Octopod, is anyone there? Come in. Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. No one's answering. That's odd. I was just talking to the professor a few minutes ago. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's taking a nap. Ah, if it's not the professor, then who's steering the octopod? <gasps> ah, here we are. Algae. Uh -huh. Lots of algae. Uh, lots and lots of algae. Captain Barnacles, if I can just get close enough, I think I can grab the octopod. Go for it, Tweak. Back on board the octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Peso, you drive. Me? Ooh. Aye, aye, sir. Octonauts, let's do this. Hatch. Professor Inkling could be in trouble. Yeah. All about.
about algae. Everything about algae. Mm -hmm. Everything else about algae. Ah. <laughs> She won't open. Let me try. Sometimes it takes some polar bear strength. Combined with some cat-like quickness. <laughs> ha! To you get, get the, the job, job done. done. Hey, follow me. Quasi, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Shiver, whiskers, the octopod was taken by these crusty little fellas? Ahem. Uh oh. Run for it. <laughs> <laughs> We give up. You've got us. Why did you crabs and lobsters take the octopod? <laughs> and uh, why are you all coughing and wheezing? I ain't gonna lie to you. Me and my friends here, we were feeling ill. <coughs> so we, um, bothered your octopod? Because to get better, we had to leave our home and go someplace where there isn't so much algae. Jumping jellyfish! So all that algae was making you ill. <laughs> but where did all that algae come from in the first place? Hmm, I wonder if the water's polluted. Polluted? Yes, that's when things get into the water that shouldn't be there, which could make the algae grow until there's too much of it. But what's polluting the water? Cap, the leaky pipe. That's right. The leaky pipe we saw must be putting something bad into the water. What about the other creatures that are still there? They may need our help. That's right, Peso. And that's why we're going back to fix that leaky pipe and clean up that extra algae. I've got it! It's right in this book! The water's polluted, which is causing too much algae to grow, which is making creatures ill! <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Octonaut, let's clean up this water. Ready. Right away! I'm on it! got it, Cap! Welcome home. We've cleaned up the extra algae and fixed the leaky pipe that caused the algae to grow too much. Mmm, just right. Yeah, much better. Thanks, Octonauts. Sorry for taking your ship. Now you won't have to leave your home ever again. Or run away with your octopod. <laughs> <laughs> Me spyglass, me ball of wool, and me copy of True Tales for Pirates. Try these, mateys! <laughs> I'm ready for a couple of days holiday on Coconut Crab Island. Have a nice relaxing time, Quasi. And we'll see you back aboard the Octopod in two days. Aye, aye, Captain. And don't forget to take the emergency button. If you run into any trouble, you'll be able to sound the Octo Alert. <laughs> what kind of trouble could I possibly run into napping in a hammock, sipping coconut milk from a straw? Well, just in case. 
Cause you never can tell, Quasi. <laughs> Coconut Crab Island. No better place to drop anchor and relax, Claude. You remember my wife, Claudette, and my three sons, Clyde, Clem, and Clarence? Can I shake Quasi his hammock, please? Can I? Can I? Hey? All right, Clarence, but make sure you don't bother him too much. I won't. I promise. Right this way. Yow. <laughs> to settle down with true tales for pirates. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Ahoy, matey. <laughs> what can I do for you? I just love a good pirate story. Do you now? Well, just hop on up and I'll read you the story of Long John Catspaw, the fiercest pirate that ever sailed the seven seas. Oh, wow. I even brought my own special piratey coconut. <laughs> that sure is a piratey coconut if ever I saw one, matey. So... Long John Catspaw looked through his spyglass and saw something unlike he'd ever seen before. <sighs> Shiver me whiskers! Somebody swiped me coconut! Maybe Long John Catspaw came and took it. No pirate worth his sea salt would steal a sleeping pirate's coconut. It's against the pirate code. And it's too easy. <laughs> Have you two seen any scurvy coconut thieves on the island? Coconut thieves? Who oh, would steal a coconut? It's just us crabs. You probably dropped it in your sleep and it fell into the water. Here, have another coconut and forget about it. OK, but I still think there's a coconut thief on this island. If only we could catch him. Hi, matey. We'll set a trap and catch him in the act. I'll show this sneaky thief you can't steal a coconut from a sleeping pirate and get away with it. Yeah, cos a real pirate is really smart. Aye, matey. A pirate is always one step ahead of the rest. Oh. Rosie, are you all right? Uh, never saw that coming. <clears throat> what? That scurvy thief even took me fake coconut head. Oh, no. And my special pirate coconut shell. Clarence, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Quasi. Quasi. Coconuts. I mean, octonuts. Oh, octonauts. To Coconut Crab Island. <laughs> Clarence sounded the octo alert, but you didn't say why. Somebody's been stealing Quasi's coconuts. And that's not all. Somebody's stealing our coconuts too. And the scurvy thief even took Clarence's special coconut shell. The one that he marked like a pirate. Oh, your special coconut? How will you ever fall asleep? How will any of us sleep knowing there's a thief on the island? I. That thief has really crossed the coconut line. Stealing coconuts from innocent little coconut crabs is downright mean. We're going to catch that thief and recover the stolen coconuts. But the thief could be hiding anywhere. Then we'll just have to play a little game of hide and seek to find that sneak. Captain, the missing coconuts have to be somewhere around here. They're not just flying away. <laughs> But they're flying back. Shiver me whiskers. Looks like that scurvy thief is hiding under the water. And we can't go after them because coconut crabs can't swim. Don't worry, octonauts can. Quasi, Peso, let's search the water. Now, where would somebody hide a secret stash of stolen coconuts? Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. Captain, I found a teeny tiny coconut. 
You found more than one peso. We found them all. But where's the thief? No sign of him. But at least we can return the coconuts to our crab friends. Our coconuts! <sighs> but no sign of my special coconut. You wouldn't happen to me. This little coconut, would you? <laughs> my special pirate coconut! You found it! Oh, of course I did. I'm a pirate! But where did the other half come from? Shiver! Whiskers, that coconut has a mind of its own! <gasps> it's also got eyes of its own. I've got this! A vast Hold on. I'm on the trail of the coconut thief. He's an octopus and he's walking on two tentacles. He's heading for the rocks. Stay with him, Quasi. Peso and I will join you there. Oh, coconuts. Ooh. Ooh Sir, you want to play, do you? Um, Where's our thief? The scallywag is hiding in one of these here coconuts. <laughs> Where'd you go? Just missed him. Oh. He's beating us at this game. Then it's time to try a new plan. Right you are, Captain. We'll just have to smash all these coconuts to smithereens. Uh, maybe not, Quasi. I have another idea. If we take one of his stolen coconuts, he's sure to come after it. Good idea, Captain. This octopus does seem to be rather attached to the coconuts. Hmm. Attached to the coconuts. Is the coconut secure? Ow! Yes, Captain. Sorry, Quasi. I just hope the tail is secure. All right. Quasi, when the thief goes for the coconut, we should be able to catch him. Now, start swimming. Nice and slow. I'm not a coconut thief, I'm a coconut octopus. What's the difference? I use coconut shells to hide in. That's how a coconut octopus stays safe. Watch! Shiver me whiskers. That looks just like a regular coconut. That's clever. You're using coconut shells as a kind of tool. You like it, huh? Hey, it's the ultimate in octopus protection. It's like my very own shell. Ooh. <laughs> I can see why you need those coconuts. So, you like to hide inside the coconuts. But what was the idea of throwing them back on shore and bonking me on the head? Sorry, but all the coconuts hadn't been cracked. I was trying to break them open by tossing them on shore. I guess it's not his fault that your head turned out to be a good coconut cracker. Well, Quasi is a bit hard-headed. Ha-ha, <laughs> very funny. But I don't suppose you need all of these coconuts. I guess not. Just need a few good ones to hide in, and I could use a little help cracking them open. I think we may be able to help you out. Really? Yippee! Here you go, Clarence. My special coconut! I thought I'd never see it again. Nah, I'd never let a fellow pirate down. So, Claude, do we have a deal? We'll be happy to crack some coconuts and throw them into the water for the little octopus. Yep, if he doesn't steal any more from us. <laughs> oh, that's so kind of you. Oh, woo. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Faithy. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go! <laughs> <laughs>